Now coming to the change in graphical interface and input editor. In Connect Edition, the tool-based interface has been changed to a ribbon-based interface. This ribbon is more organized and scientifically arranged. Previously, the tools were located buzzardly. Some of the tools were at the top of your screen, some in the sidebar. But now, all the similar tools are grouped together under a specific ribbon. If you want selection tools, just go to select ribbon. For geometric creation and modifications, all tools are available under geometry ribbon and so on. Also, an enhanced sidebar has been included which we called as workflow bar. You can customize this to include only the used modules and also undock to increase the modeling area. The layouts associated with the workflow area are context sensitive. This means only those tabs and layouts which are related to that workflow are available. So if you are in the geometry mode, you can find the tabs which are related to this operation like the load page or the property page. When you move to the post processing mode, these tabs automatically changed to analysis result related options. Here you can notice three separate modules are available to create the geometry, including the new physical modeler mode. I'll discuss about this shortly. Also, you can switch to other design interfaces using the integrated design software tabs. Like you can perform foundation design using stat foundation mode, generate drafting drawing using auto drafter, or perform stilt connection design using RAM connection module. Two advanced concrete design modules has also been integrated to perform any types of concrete entity design. So you can simply model and analyze your structure in stat and then move to the integrated design modes to perform separate entity design or generate deliverable drawings. A floating and customizable toolbar has also been introduced to add useful shortcuts. If you are more comfortable working with tools, you can add commonly used tools here and this can be accessed anytime with a place of spacebar. One of the plus point of STAT is the input editor. I know several of our users love to use the input editor for small modification to large scale change in the model. Since Select Series 6, a new input editor has been introduced which is way more advanced than the existing simple text format editor. For Connect Edition, the input editor is now more powerful with inclusion of few useful features. Content tree is now available using which you can easily navigate to the desired location. No need to scroll down and search for the required command line. Simply click on the block name from the content tree. Also, you can minimize any block now. This not only reduces the search effort, but also help you to select all the command lines from a larger block easily by minimizing. Additionally, you can add a bookmark wherever required and later simply use that bookmark tag to go to that particular command line. Another useful feature is the smart suggestion or IntelliSense. If you want to add a command line from input editor, you can type the first few letter and program suggest all the relevant command lines. This helps to create the command line easily and you don't have to worry about the incorrect syntax. You can also insert commands using the snippet blocks. This is like a small code block which you can customize as per your requirement and insert wherever and whenever required. Finally, the find and replace option is also improved by inclusion of several additional options. Now, let's find out the change in the modeling mode. In older VATI version, only one modeling mode was available, which was the analytical modeling mode, where you need to create the structure from part to whole using line plate and surface element. This mode still exists in Connect Edition, but two additional modeler has been included. One is the physical modeler and next one is the building planner mode. Note that both the physical modeler and building planner mode generates the analytical model in the background. You can also use this generated analytical model for any modification. And analysis of the model is performed in the analytical modeler only. 
I will discuss about these two new modelers shortly. A seed file option is provided in the latest Connect Edition Update 6 version. Using this option, you can easily import some settings or modeling information from another STAT model. For example, you know that for your new project, the load case and combinations are similar with one of your previous project. So you can simply select the old STAT model as a seed file during the new model generation. Program automatically imports all the blank, primary and combination load cases from that old model. This is also true for geometric creation or design block import. If you work with similar types of projects, this seed file option can minimize your model generation time by great extent. Physical modeler mode is one of the latest inclusion in Connect Edition to enhance the modeling experience. This module does not require any additional license and you can use it with your basic STAD license. As the name suggests, this module is based on physical entity concept, means you can model from whole to part without worrying about the member to member or member to plate connection. This is a complete new interface where you can model your structure from scratch using member and plate elements. This modeler is specifically beneficial for finite element modeling. In analytical modeler, when you create a plate mesh, you need to ensure that each plate element has proper connection with other plates and beams. This creates some serious issue as we have to identify and rectify all connectivity issues to make a structurally stable model. In physical modeler, you can simply define the outer boundary of the mesh area and program internally mesh the plate in such a way that all existing plates and members in and along the boundary are considered as a part of the mesh. So there is no chance of improper connectivity. A simple example is the slab shear wall member connection. If you already meshed the slab and then try to create the shear wall using plate element, there might be some connectivity issues at the slab wall junction. But in physical modeler, you can simply define the boundary and program internally creates the wall mesh considering the nodes of existing slab and members. This eliminates tedious connectivity check issues and ensure it, the structure is stable. Also in this module, you can switch on multiple grids and use all the grids to generate the model. For any sloped or inclined structure or to apply any load in an angle, this multiple grid systems helps a lot. And you can directly apply the load on physical entity. No need to create additional load application point. Consider this castellated eye gutter created in the physical modeler using plate mesh. As you can see, I have applied a UDL on this member. This load is applied directly on the plate elements without creating any load application points. Now, let's check the analytical model generated in the background for this mesh structure. See how the mesh is generated here? All the plates are connected properly and the mesh is optimized internally so that there is no skewed plate element. Check the finite element meshing around the hole. Now check the load items generated for the applied UDL. If you look at the meshing, you can notice that the meshing is readjusted so that there are control points at the load application line. This is one of the major benefit of physical modeler as the meshing is internally generated, program adjust it according to the geometry and loading. Another great benefit of this modeler is you can modify your structure anytime without changing any mesh plate or member. How many times do you face problem during modification of your mesh structure? Well, this is a very common issue. For example, consider a shear wall model or lift core structure which is already missed. Now your architect informs you to move the opening. If you model it in analytical modeler, then you need to delete the entire mesh and nodes and then remesh it again with modified geometry. Do you know how easy it is to change the same in physical modeler? 
consider this serial model which is created in physical modular and opening is created in this wall to change the opening dimension you can simply go to opening table and change the values you can put any new value here you can notice the opening is modified instantly now check the analytical model which is generated in the background for this physical model the opening is modified and all the meshed plates are rearranged so that there is no connectivity issue or orphan nodes present in the structure in physical modeler you can also define the member alignment in analytical modeler you can change the cross section alignment by calculating the offset distance and assign it to the member end this is time consuming in this modeler several member alignment options has been provided if you modify the member alignment program internally calculates the offset value and assign it to the member see the bracing members i have adjusted the end position of the top bracing using this option without calculating the offset distance each physical model generates an analytical model in the background if you want you can also work with this analytical model to modify your structure this physical and analytical models are interchangeable and any time you can drop the physical model if not required in the latest version of connect edition update 6 a new option has been provided specifically for water or wastewater industry a new structure wizard has been introduced where the tank model can be automated in physical modeler an advanced tank model generator option has been provided where you can simply define your tank geometry like the compartment number wall thickness foundation and slab information and tank model is generated with finite element meshing not only that you can also apply loading and save the model as template file as mentioned an analytical model is generated in the background this concrete tank can be designed in rcdc i'll cover the design part later finally you can import surface from ism file in physical modeler if you want to import any 3d model from devit or open building designer or any beam enabled software then you can simply create an ism file and import the whole 3d model in stat physical modeler second module which is introduced in connect edition to create building structure is the building planner mode previously this was available as a separate software planwin using which you can generate a stat model in connect edition it is integrated with stat and if you are under select subscription you can use this module without any extra cost This module is used for building structure only so if you want to create a regular or irregular shaped building you can use this module either by importing the floor plans or by creating a new one one of the major benefits of this module is dead and live loads are auto generated based on model geometry and user inputs option to auto generate wind and seismic loads are also available here and similar to physical modeler Here also offset values are calculated internally and applied to the members. In building planner mode there are multiple options to create a floor plan. If you have the plan diagram of the floor in dxf format may be supplied by your planner or the architect you can directly import that or create a new floor plan from scratch. This floor plan can be assigned to any floor level and Once you specify all the story information, program automatically stitch all the plans to form a 3D structure. Beam and columns can be auto generated depending on the model geometry and load condition. Load from the wall cladding can be automated in this module. By default, program internally determines the external and internal wall location and calculates the wall load for brick wall. You can change the inputs like wall thickness material density or even override the load calculation with provided values a dead load case is created for this and wall load is applied on the members as udl it is very easy to create a flanged column like 
T or L column in the building planner mode. No need to create a user table general section and then specify the profile points. Rather, you can simply select a column and provide shape and axis along the dimensions and program converts the column to a flange column. This can be further designed in RCDC mode. Wind and sysping load can also be automated in this module. A parametric input option is available with Indian and American code and depending on the selected inputs, static wind load and static or dynamic seismic loads are applied on the structure. Finally, you can generate the analytical model. There are several choices like whether you want to define the slab using the advanced flow diaphragm option or master slip command, whether you want to provide beam offset to adjust the beam column orientation. For seismic loading, mass reference load case can also be generated directly along with dynamic seismic load. 3D analytical model is generated in the analytical modeler and you can further modify it either in analytical mode itself or go back to the building planner mode. In analytical modeler, there is one major change related to finite element modeling. Now you can specify plate offset at the corner nodes either in local or global direction. Offsets can be assigned individually at each node or collectively perpendicular to the plane of the plate using Z offset input. At this moment, this capability is restricted to a first order elastic analysis only. Additionally, when offsetting the nodes of plates, it is important to ensure that the plane of the plate remains planar. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.